Today is a day of first. We're diving into the heart of the Queen City. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. We're Heather and Clayton, remote professionals with a passion for travel, based out of Fort Worth, Texas. We will show you our travels, provide some travel tips and tricks, and of course, always find the best spots for craft beer. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, we're thrilled to have you join us. We're gonna start our day by trying out a couple of breweries, and then we're gonna hit up Cincinnati's own famous Skyline Chili. So our first stop in Cincinnati is Streetside Brewery. And we haven't eaten all day, and we have about eight beers. But they do have a food truck on site, so we're getting burgers, they're on the way. But we have our nice flights of beer, and so far, so good. have an on-site food truck called the Burger Bros. I got, since we live in Texas now, the Southern Belle, cause apparently I'm supposed to be one now or something. And then we got some fries to share. And Clayton got the bacon jam burger. So we just left our first stop in Cincinnati. Street side brewing. Yep, we had a couple drinks there. Um, we didn't drink a lot because we have a couple other breweries on tap. We did get yeah, some food get on tap, exactly. <laughs> and their beer was awesome. Um, they had a yeah. wide range of different kinds of beers, um, sours, milkshake IPAs, which I absolutely love and you can't <laughs> find as much anymore. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was an awesome first stop. We're gonna go check out some more beer in Cincinnati. Absolutely. Stop number two. We are at Urban Artifact, which we've actually had some of their beers before, but we've never been to the tap room. Let's go. All right, we just left Urban, Urban Artifact. Artifact. And now we are at our next brewery. Ryan Geist, <laughs> am, I, that, or am I saying that right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Not sure if but. we're saying it right, but yeah, Urban Artifact was really interesting. A lot interesting. of sour beers. Yeah. I love sour beers. Some were still a little bit too tart for me, but yeah. definitely not a Clayton's cup of tea, so we're gonna check out Ryan Geist, so let's get going. We have to take an elevator up, apparently. Elevator to VIP. today yeah <laughs> we have more tomorrow yeah it was a lot today we were in about 12 30 got a rental car first stop was street side brewery <laughs> like i mean we just started going street side brewery <laughs> we went to urban artifact finishing up right now at ryan guys i can never remember <laughs> the name um, that was a super fun place, as you can see. Like shuffleboard, they had, they had bags, bags they had there. A lot of games. 
but there also is a, a rooftop so yeah once the sun went down it wasn't as warm out we went and had another beer up on the rooftop definitely a really cool place to hang out so check it out yeah. we made it in. skyline chili <laughs> Cincinnati famous chili. Yeah, I guess Cincinnati either brands its own chili or it's famous for its own chili, one of the two. But Skyline Chili, I guess, is one of the most famous places to go when you're in Cincinnati, so. There are so many locations. There are. And yeah. conveniently, there was one right across the road from our hotel. Yeah. So. so we literally walked over. It took us, what, a minute to get here, I think, because <laughs> we had to wait on a couple cars. We're excited to eat it. Chili. What's a burger? That's good. So I got a. I believe they called it a four-way. It's like spaghetti, and then I got onions on it with cheese, and it's pretty good. Good morning. We are working on day two of our one day in Cincinnati. Well, 24 hours. <laughs> Yesterday was a half day, so yeah. it's the conglomeration of a few days. Yeah. So what you see behind us is the John Roebling Bridge. It's a bridge that you can see, it's, it's very iconic from the Cincinnati skyline. Uh, there's other bridges too, but this bridge is over 150 years old. Um, it was constructed in the 1860s, and when it was constructed, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world at that time. Yeah, honestly, when I first saw it, I just feel like it looks a lot like Tower Bridge yeah. in London, which is a very iconic bridge in and of itself. Yeah, it kind of has like some blue color to it. It's got the kind of ornate the details. Ornate that details. Looks similar. Yeah, exactly. But we're gonna go check it out a little bit closer, so come along with us. Walking across the John Roebling Bridge <laughs> and listen to the car. It sounds kind of crazy. It yeah. definitely has a distinct sound. Yeah, so the, the roadway the across yeah. the bridge is like metal slatted grates. Kind of if you've ever walked in a big city. The steam that comes up, the metal grates, like that's what the bridge is like. So as you can see here, <laughs> it looks kind of cool. But the reason why that's done is because of the surface area that has the holes in it actually makes it lighter. Yeah, it makes it lighter. It allows the flex from the torsion, you know, from wind or weight Planes and all that all kind of stuff. So yeah. it's, hey, it's anything nerdy like this, I'm all for it. <laughs>
after we checked out downtown Cincinnati and the bridge, we are going to a few more breweries in the area. First up for today, Mad Tree Brewing. It's pretty massive, <laughs> I will say. It's like a complex. We haven't been in there yet, but we're about to show you. Drinking a couple beers and having some pizza. and we have a couple of flights. We've only taken a few sips so far, but so far so good. So far so good. I got an IPA flight. Heather got a little bit of everything. Kind of a little bit of everything. There's a pumpkin beer in there. There's a sour, uh, a sour, uh, white coffee ale, yeah. a dark beer. You know I love my pastry sour. Tree Brewing and having some flights of beer we decided to grab food we decided to get a pizza pizza we got has Italian sausage prosciutto red onions and banana peppers on it and we also had some wings with um, buffalo sauce and barbecue we're leaving Mad Tree Brewing and I will say probably the best beer we've had so far in my opinion not in my opinion not in Heather's I opinion. I have other opinions about the breweries <laughs> we were at yesterday. Yeah. But we are going to hit up one last brewery stop in Cincinnati before we head a little bit out of the city to a state park area. left our last brewery that we hit up in Cincinnati. I'm actually a part of this group on Facebook, Craft Beer Girls, and I was able to connect with a gal that I met on the group um, that was a beer tender here, so yeah. that was super cool. Like Heather said, our last brewery stop here in Cincinnati. We're headed north. Check the links below for what we did. Tell us in the comments below what we missed what we should do the next time we're here. Stay tuned. First time zip lining. Like a thing that you come, but like, no one's Let's see how it goes. All right, just make sure you step forward. Just step forward, huh? Yeah, you can run off, jump off, just make sure you're going forward. Oh, I step back. If not, you'll hit, you'll hit your butt. It's not fun. Yeah, that would not be good. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about this. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a lot faster than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, one and done, I think. All right, so update walking back. It was fun, but I don't know if I'd do that again. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I think Heather's was more exciting. Tell it something. Every rock and every river, every storm and every sun. The real reason we're actually in Ohio and the Cincinnati area in general is because our friends, um, as you can see the venue behind us, yeah. are getting married. We actually met them through Instagram and through blogging, so it's just awesome the kind of friendships that you can make by doing this. Yeah, absolutely. And like Heather said, the reason we were coming up here was a wedding, but we wanted to make another day out of it and hit up some breweries in Cincinnati. We hope to 
this vlog inspired you, but if you're a Cincinnati native and you know any awesome places that we missed, be sure to comment down below where we should go next time. But until then, we'll see, see you guys, guys next time. time. There's, there's burgers on the way. There's burgers on the way. Um, yeah, shuffleboard. You're cutting uh, off the top part. No, it's fine. No, that's not right. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Rule, I don't think you guys are gonna do it, but just don't try and, like, you're not gonna flip upside down, but don't try to, because they're not meant for that. Sure. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Testing to see at arm's length what it looks like with this handle versus the telescope.